Hi, welcome back to Janine, uh, Celestial Guidance with Janine. Janine, <laughs> I can't speak. Okay, uh, so today's reading is, this crystal keeps spinning around. I'm going to watch that. Okay, so in this pile, you're going to pick Y, pile 1, A, B, or C. And today's reading is mainly um, what is it you need to know right now? What is it that your angels are trying to tell you that you're missing? You know, things like that. I've already saged everything. I've saged all the cards, the extra cards I'm going to be adding in. In this deck, it's uh, the secret language of light. So I'm going to read like the first paragraph of it, and this will be the basis. Um, we'll see what happens. So I'm hearing this is like what they want for the basis of the reading, and then we'll pick out further cards and see what comes up. Um, let me see. They said to also, um, you know, this may not resonate with everybody. So, you know, pick and choose what you resonate with and leave the rest behind. And if you like it, please, you know, hit the thumbs up. Okay. So, uh, what else did you want to say? I think that was it for right now. Okay. So, uh, whoever you chose pile one, let's start with pile, the first card. Let's see. Pile one and two. Okay, so pile one. Okay, well, let's see what they have to say. Ooh, expansion. Okay, oh, number 44, and I keep seeing 44 everywhere. So, and I know 44 is like they're letting you know that this is such a beautiful card if you look at it. Oh, can you see it really good? It's such a beautiful card. I love these colors. I love the information that I feel like I'm, I'm receiving from these cards. And I just, this one, it just really hits me in my heart and in my third eye. So, in the information I'm just receiving this before we read the book, you know, number 44 is expansion. And when I'm getting, being guided and seeing synchronicities, it's usually showing me 44s. And they usually let me know that I'm not on my own. I'm not doing this alone. I have spiritual help. All I got to do is just really shut my mind down, go within, and receive the information. Um... But we, you, whoever picked this pile, <laughs> you're going through a big expansion. You're going through a lot of light codes, a lot of information. You're receiving a lot of information. Uh, I feel like you're, all your chakras are being all like blessed or cleansed or rebalanced through the higher realms, through what they're telling me is your star team, your Arcturian team, your Pleiadian team, whatever... Um, uh, celestial team or guides you have, whoever you go to, they're doing a lot of work for you. You're going through some big major expansion. You go through some big major growth. Um, you're on to something big, and I just feel like it's really going to hit your crown chakra. And uh, wow, this is a lot of information coming through in this one. I just feel really. Um, it's just such a beautiful card, like a well-balanced card, like you're being balanced, you're being expanded, you're going to be getting more light language, the word I'm hearing, light language. Um, you're going to start receiving a lot of information, a lot of guidance. You, you, are, you are communicating with the other side, they're saying. You need to trust your skills, trust what you're hearing, and just go forward. But you are hearing them. So this, they really want you to breathe in this card, breathe it in, look at it. Um, really get the the significance of it because there's some really downloads and a lot of information coming through in this one and it's just for me it was like really really powerful i just feel this is you really need to see this card is what i'm hearing <laughs> so breathe that in okay and then i'm going to get the card the book out and then we're going to read this and see what this says so 44 so amazing oh i'm kind of excited to see what they're going to say here okay Travel at your own speed of light. Are you keeping up with your life and all you want to create, or are you holding yourself back with what ifs or buts? You limit your life through your beliefs. Everything you say and everything you do becomes true for you and is the platform at which you build your life. The playing field of life is unlimited and loving. You are unlimited, loving, and wondrous part of creation. You are perfect right here, right now. You are different, and therefore think differently. To last week, last year, last decade, and yet you will always be you. What you are observing is your view. It is neither right nor wrong, but a way to become clearer about what you like and don't like, so you can choose what to focus upon. 
The events and experience of your life will grow in meaning as your consciousness expands. Learn to focus and dance in time with the energy and speed of your desires, and they will arrive easily in surprising and satisfying ways. That is really amazing. So, in the meditation, it's saying here, uh, activate your Merkaba. The star tetrahedron at the center of this image is also known as the Merkaba, or vehicle of light. It is made of two tetrahedrons spinning in opposite directions. One points upward and represents the masculine. One points downward and represents the feminine. It is symbolic of travel through space, time, or dimensions to your higher self and beyond. So and then they're asking you to lie down, and if you want to go through that... Um, I don't know if you want me to go through all that. I don't know if anybody even liked all this before when I was sharing this. But they're saying you lie down, meditate, uh, take a deep breath, uh, allow the, everything to go through. Uh, in your mind's eye, see one triangle, the Merkaba rotating above your head. See the other triangle. Okay, so I'll let you take a picture of that, snapshot it, and then that way you can go within and um, read that for yourself. And then... Uh, that way you can go, if you want to do this, you can do this yourself. And then let me see what the other side says. And if you want to do this, you can do the other part too. Take a snapshot. I'll leave it out real quick for you to do that. Dum, dum, dee, dum. Okay. Okay. So, now they're saying we're going to the cards. Let me see, where do you want me to go? Okay, they want me to use the uh, Osho Zen. All right, so let's see what else is it that you need to know for today right now. Whatever is it you're missing, what does Pile 1 need to know? What is it they're not hearing and missing? What is it they need to know for right now? Woo! Miss Style. Okay, sorry. Okay. What does Pile 1 need to know? I feel like I got wax and dog hair everywhere. Okay. <laughs> what does Pile 1 need to know? What are you trying to tell Pile 1? Okay, first off, the first thing I'm hearing in my mind is that whoever picked Pile 1, because you're going through such a big expansion, um... You might have felt like you weren't going down the right road or if you weren't, you know, if you made the right decision. They're saying that there was a time when we needed to just um, get clear direction so that um, we can get an alignment to the divine timing of what's going to be coming in for the future. Okay, that's how they were saying it. Okay, what else? Oh, pile one need to know. What does pile one need to know? Okay. And let's see what card fill out. Comparison. All right. So first off, I'm hearing stop comparing yourself to others. You know, there's no one else like you. You're unique. You're your own beauty. You're your own self. There's no other comparison. You can't compare yourself to others. Big changes are coming, and they're also saying not to compare your uh, direction, your life, your path, you know, don't compare your life to somebody else's. It always seems greener on the other side, you know, like the old saying, but they're saying just to stay in your own lane and not to compare yourself because then that's when you start letting all the fear and they're not good enough. You're not worthy, you know, all those lower emotions. So they're saying to stay out of the comparison. Miser. Miser. Healing ordinariness okay so I'm definitely feeling like okay so yeah so 
you're coming out of your healing from this situation of being a miser of your energy, your time, your money, you know, you're, you're holding on to, it was like old energy basically is what I'm hearing. And of course, money is energy. So it's like money I'm hearing is that you've been holding on to all this old energy thinking this was the right way, but it's like, there's a new way of coming in. There's a lot of healing coming in from the other side that they're coming in, healing all these old parts of yourself. And, you know, it's like things may seem ordinary, um, but there's nothing ordinary. If you look at the beauty and the colors, there's nothing ordinary about your life. Your life is going to be start blossoming into something so beautiful, so much more beyond that you even imagined. And they're saying you just need to hold on for the ride. Um, but there's a lot of healing going on behind the scenes is what I'm hearing. And a lot of it's clearing up your mind and your, um, your self-confidence. So getting your mind out of, you know, quit thinking so much, you know, it's going into the heart, the heart center is what's being opened and healed. And of course, your this is blue. So I'm hearing a lot of third um, throat chakra, not third, sorry, throat chakra is being a lot of healed. You're going to start speaking more from love and compassion and not being so rigid with your thoughts. So there's a lot of healing going on. And they're just really saying to stop comparing yourself to you know, yourself or others or even people around you or family members because everybody has their own journey and there's no way to compare yourself to anybody else. So, you know, things might seem very ordinary, but what I'm hearing is nothing is ordinary about you. You are so beyond, you know, more than you understand. And it's just coming into the knowing and coming into that, um, coming into that, um, that acceptance of it and coming into the acceptance of who you really are. Uh, if you see all these colors, I'm feeling like maybe springtime, you know, maybe summertime is going to start really flourishing. It's going to start really blossoming. You're going to start really seeing a lot of beauty in life again, and you're going to start taking more care and um, joy into your life is what I'm hearing. Uh, let me see. Do you want me to continue with these cards? Yes. Okay. Burden. Courage. Fighting. Oh, you're fighting within your mind. It's such a big struggle. Yeah. So there's a lot of healing with your mind, a lot of healing going in within yourself and your your confidence, your solar plexus. It's like you do, you're it's like a battle within yourself and you're trying to let go of the ego and the ego's trying to hold on, but you're just like, I gotta fight this and you're just fighting through it. So you're starting to let go of the old ego and you're becoming in the new you. You're becoming that innocence, you're becoming that beautiful new inner being of that innocence and the um of that child like that child of innocence how you just look at everything so beautiful like a grasshopper is such a beautiful thing to you and it's that innocence within you it's that godlike force within you so you've been holding on to a lot of burden but they're saying it's like burden within your own self and your own head and you're carrying on the weight on your shoulders but you need to take courage and really start shining your light and shining a light away from Everything that's been holding you back, all this stuff that you've been holding on to, you don't need to hold on to all this junk. It's all in the past. It's over. It's done with. It's like time to move forward. And they're saying to really start taking courage and shine your light. Go within, you know, start really shining that light. Um, burden. You've been um, carrying the burden of, you know, being comparing yourself to others or comparing... Um, yeah, basically, I'm just hearing you're comparing yourself to others and just hearing, you know, comparing your life or, you know, this situation, you know, like this, somebody else has it better than me or why is it that person has it better than me? And it's because you're holding on to this old energy that you really need to let go of. It's just time to really just let that let that chicken off and let that guy go. And, you know, it's just time to really lift off the burden. You know, you don't need to hold on to everything. You don't need to compare yourself to anybody else. You are perfect the way you are really shine your light you're really taking the courage you're really starting to step out but you've really been fighting it because you really don't see it and you're in your head and you're fighting it over it in your head but there's a lot of healing going on that is like showing you uh what you need to do to break free from that so this is really breaking free from your head and really going forward and really you know being open from your heart and being open to the innocence of new life again you know being the innocence of experiencing new life and having fun again and just being taken life as like um like new like a child you know like a child would be at three when they see something new like a crystal <gasps> oh and they're so pretty you know it's like that innocence so it's like having fun or they want me to use another deck all right all right what is it the pile one needs to know so much good 
healing and growth is going on. A lot of expansion. A lot of uh, growth. There's a lot of growth I'm hearing. All right, what else does Pile 1 need to know? What does Pile 1 need to know? What does Pile 1 need to know? Is it even trying to tell them? Oh, Ooh, did I hear one? Oh, I hear a couple. Okay. What is pile one need to know? Oh, okay. What is pile one need to know? Okay. Okay, so the first three cards. Oh, wow. Major changes coming in. So decision, release yourself from that which is holding you back and need to detox unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. So yeah, definitely you're going through some big major changes, but they're really saying to make a decision because I think you're not making a decision on what's clear on what direction you really want to go and you're about ready to be free. You know, you're about ready to see the the rainbows and the colors and you're really going to start really seeing life again. Um, they're just saying, really, get out of your head. Quit worrying about it so much because it's your only uh, lack of self-confidence and not really have confidence within yourself that's really holding you back. So they're saying, really make a decision. Be clear on what you really want, the direction you want to go. What is it you want to be? Be clear. You know, we might be getting a lot of information and they're saying, take time, meditate on that. You know, like me, um, uh, just give a an example they're showing um, because they're showing me what happened with me. It's like my, I get information of being a witch in my past life. It doesn't mean I really need to be a witch in this lifetime, but I have the energy of being a witch. So, but how I can use it is my own ability. So you make a decision on based on, you know, who you are, you know, it's like for me, I'm trying to make a decision on who I really am. Should I be doing cards? Am I, you know, should I be talking about more about crystals? You know, things like that, you know, going back and forth because not being really clear on what direction I want to be free from. But it's only my own thoughts and my own lack of confidence that's really holding me back. So they're saying the same thing. It's only the your lack of confidence within yourself that's really going to hold you back. So really get out of your head. You are getting out of your head. But um, they're just, just one of those things to help you out. <laughs> okay, so and then you got the world. A very happy ending coming full circle. Spiritual growth. Oops, sorry. Spiritual growth and insight. So there's a very, you got the world on your hands. A lot of good things are going to start coming into fruition. You have big changes coming in. Um, it's like things are going to start coming full circles. Like the old karma is done and new beginnings is coming around is what I'm hearing. Um, I mean, you have a lot of spiritual growth, a lot of insight right now. You've been going through some big expansion, some big healing. And they're, they're saying that, you know, be ready for it. And, you know, once you get that decision made, big things are going to start happening real quick. And then you have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So you've already been planting seeds. You've already been doing the work. You've already been, you know, doing your work and leaving everything over to, you know, the angels. So they're saying right now is a good time to really review your progress. Was it that you need to make changes in or maybe you need to modify and then go forward and go from go forward from that and then start forward. So there's a lot of healing. Archangel Ariel's around, Michael's around. Um, I've been hearing Joe Fields around a lot too. So that's really funny. I heard that one. Okay. And then keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. So you definitely have um, such a big genuine concern for people and others. You really want to help people. You're very dramatic. You're dri driven. Um, not dr dramatic in a bad way, but you can be over dramatic and if you're in the negative sense. Uh, but you're very inspirational. You give them people hope when you talk and you share. And you're very generous with your energy uh, once you get past all that because you're healing from all the miserly stuff. But you're a very generous person and you love to give. You love to help. You're very inspirational. You don't want to see people suffer really because you've suffered so much yourself and you've gone through so much healing, deep healing, that they're saying it's really time for you to just really open your eyes, see the big picture, lead the details to the other side, your angels, your guiding, your 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 star team leave it to them because they're working on the bigger picture for you you just got to do the little work like planting those seeds getting it out there getting it done and just having faith and patience because it's going to happen 
Um, and you know, you're going to gain more experience to this. So keep practicing whatever it is um, that you're doing. You no, know, don't give up. Keep doing it. Don't give up. You know, because the more persistent you are, if it's something you really want to do, then do it. Don't give up on yourself because you have that. You have that energy behind you. You have that. Um, you're very driven. You can really take your the drive and that inspiration and really push you forward. And right now is really good about that because the moon or the energy is going into Aries. So it's really good time to really take that action, take that energy and push yourself forward. Keep doing it. Don't give yourself up. Don't give up. All right. Do you want me to continue with this? One more. Okay. King. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. Okay. So that's why they want me to say one more. So, <clears throat> man, you've been going through such a deep healing. You've been going through a lot of work. You've been doing a lot of expansion. And it's like, it's really time for you to really trust yourself. You really take that, you know, start taking your creative passions and really go forward. It's really time to trust yourself. And you have the ability, even if you have a couple jobs to go forward, you know, you can do this. You know, you have this ability to do this. And they're saying that trust yourself. This is your confirmation. They're saying to trust this is what exactly what they just said right now. This is your confirmation. Something you want confirmation. This is it. Okay. Uh, this is an animal. All right. Let's see what the animal spirit is talking to you. What animal spirit? This pile one needs to know. What is their special message? Pile one. Pile one. What does pile one need to know? Pile one. Ugh, these are really hard to shuffle. White rhinoceros, stability, confidence, steadiness, and abundance. So if you're seeing the number 15, or if you're seeing a rhinoceros, you know, coming in, or if you're dreaming about it, you're getting symbols of a rhinoceros or something, this is um, confirmation that, or they want you to work with this animal. They're saying that this is the animal that's coming in for you to work with. And they're showing you it's giving you more stability, confidence, steadiness, and abundance. He's bringing a lot of abundance in. So I'm, I'm hearing a lot of things are going to start coming in. I did see that up here, that you have a lot of more good things coming in. Just have to have a little more patience, but a lot of good things are coming in. Uh, yeah, this is a really good card. I really like that. All right. Caribou. Perseverance, resourcefulness, movement, and determination. So the caribou is bringing you determination to keep going forward. Perseverance, you know, keep moving. Not a okay, good thing is not a cow moving, <laughs> but um, you, you, you're going to be moving, you're moving forward, moving, you know, in. You're going to start being resourceful too, like um, start saving things, you know, start saving money or stocking up a little bit of food or something like that. Um, but look at these numbers too, because I think these have a significance as well. And the last one is a mountain gorilla. Reverence, contemplation, community, inner calm. Such a beautiful picture of that animal. Oh, reminds me of King Kong. Okay, so he, the gorilla is bringing you reverence, contemplation, community, inner calm. So within your community, you know, you're going to start bringing more calmness within your community. I think you bring a lot of leadership. I think a lot of um, healing to the community around you. And I think it brings a lot of inner calm. Everybody knows they, they can rely on you. You're always strong. So just hold on to that. And they, I think that you, you're very looked up to. Like you just don't realize it. And um, really standing your power like the, the fire. It's a really good card too. Um, you're getting rooted, grounded more into, your, into the energy. Okay. Um, let's see what angels, the special message that the angels have for you today. What is the special message guidance for pile one? What's the guidance for pile one?
You have a gift for working with young people, and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, or parenting children. You have a very special gift, and I think the the, the children, um, maybe even like animals, um, teaching, maybe if you're a teacher, this is a special message. You have a special gift, and uh, maybe you want to work towards, maybe you weren't sure what direction to work towards, you know, but I'm hearing maybe children, um, maybe gifted children, or even, you know, elders, or even pets, you know, things like that, but you have a special gift, and you help them keep them calm, they feel safe around you, um, they'll go to you all your problems, and they just know how to talk to you, and they feel safe around you. The other one, Isaiah, it's a good time to give birth to new ideas, situations in your life, I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these time changes. So it is a really good time to start really being creative and birthing those uh, new ideas into fruition and giving birth to those new ideas. Um, it's really time to, Isaiah is really here to help you. He's watching over you. Or your guides is really I'm hearing. He's like, basically your guides are really here. But if you have a connection to an Isaiah, that they're letting you know that this is time. You're, you're being supported and you're very protected. And there's a lot of big changes going on, but you are very safe and you're protected in this change. And my uh, schooling, study, and education help your life purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. So I'm definitely here. And if you are continuing, if you want to go back to school to be a teacher or some kind of teacher in the studies, maybe helping in meditation, think things maybe with the uh, spiritual side, if you want to do something different, I feel like you would be so gifted in that area with the children. You may be teaching them about crystals or maybe meditation, something about breathing. It's like you just have a very special gift with kids and there this is a confirmation even going back to school um, getting some more additional education or help this would really help you in your personal growth and it'll help you to feel like you're doing your life's purpose I, th I think you'll feel a connection you'll get goosebumps or something like you'll really resonate with that okay so I think yes that is all they said they have to say for this pile so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you resonated I hope you like you hit the thumbs up um, but yeah, if you need a personal reading, you can always email me at Janine Spiritual Medium at gmail.com. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a blessed day. Bye bye. Hi, pile two. Hold on, I gotta get all these fixed up. I don't know who's gonna be doing what. Very powerful readings today. All right. So second pile. This was your pile. Your card is there is only light. So they really want you to really look at the image. Um, there is a transmission through here. And they're saying that there is only light. So they really want you to really stare at the stare. I'm like looking at here and here. I'm just seeing a lot of energy coming through. Um, look at the number 32. I feel like this is an important number for you. But you're going through a big uh, change. You're gaining a lot of information. I feel like God is going through you. Or you're getting direct information. Maybe through your dream times. You're Like I'm being shown you're sleeping. But you're not really here. You go home. You go to the other side. I think it's a lot like me. Like I go over the side and I talk to the other side. But they're showing me that you're getting information. Um, downloads is the word I'm hearing. And... Uh, they're saying you actually come back, you feel pretty exhausted. You feel like you're working too hard, but you don't know why you're working hard. Basically, you're getting downloads, you're getting healing, you're going through a lot of deep work. You're They're doing karm, karmic clearing, and they're getting rid of all this old debris that you were holding on to from a past life. So I am going to read the book, and then um, I will show you the other pages for like the meditation or anything. If you want to take a snapshot of it, then you can go through it and do it at your own leisure in your own time. But I'll just read what the card means, and then you can go from there. But want, they really want you to look at this transmission, really breathe it in, take a deep breath, and just breathe in the information and breathe in the, um, the light codes that you're going to be receiving from this. So it's a, such a beautiful card. I love the colors on it. And they really want you to know there's only light. We are all energy. 
Um, we are connected to God, you know, we are all energy source God, you know, in a sense, in the energy sense. So it's like there is only light. All right. Now let's see. Uh, number 30. Let's see what they have to say. So excited. Okay. Oh, almost there. Okay. Darkness is just an absence of light. Light is sought after and extraordinary. We see clarity of light, a lightness of being, and light bulb moments. Light bypasses the analytical mind and takes us straight into loving wisdom. It is time for you to step into your shining light. Be illuminated. Let light in. Today is a day to release any disturbances in your energy. Happiness will come naturally unless you do something to prevent it from happening. Release all that is stopping happiness from flowing into your world, and it will, and it will appear before you. It seems too easy, but it is truly that simple. Until you realize this, you remain connected to the belief that struggle is a required, perhaps more respected, less enlightened path. We often take on the belief that if we struggle, others will think more of us and we will appreciate things more. When you go against your soul, you move away from your brightness. The darkness is a sign. It is time to feel your way back into your heart and soul. That's beautiful. Wow. Okay. So here's the meditation. So if you want to uh, go into that, you know, deeper, further, you can take a snapshot of that and go through it at a more time that's convenient for you. And that way, oh, I'm sorry, I can get my finger out of the way there. Okay. Hope you can see that. All right. And let's see if there's anything on the back. Oh, so this was just a little journal work. If you want to do a journal work, then that's the journal work. You can take a snapshot. Okay. So let me see what the angels have to say today. What is it they've been trying to tell you? Um, they want me to use these first. Okay. So what is it that pile two needs to know? What does pile two need to know? Are you been trying to tell them or maybe they're missing or maybe they're asking for? What does pile two need to know? Oh, the emperor. Okay, let me see what else. you have anything else to say for pile two? Ooh. Anything else for pile two? Oh, thank you. Let's flew over here. Okay. Emperor. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so it's kind of like reiterating what the card says. So stability and efficient, efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. So they're really saying it's really time to you know step into your power, start in, step into your light, and really time to make that decision. Be clear on that you know what it is that you really need, that you really want in your life. It's only you that's holding you back. Your mind is keeping you limited. In here, she has one foot in, one foot out of the ring, and she's already out the doors. But it's up to her. That's, it's up to her to see that she has um, the control to be free or not. It's your only your own mind that's holding you back. The limited beliefs, the limited thoughts, you know, the energies that you think that people affect you or not. It's up to you to make that decision on what affects you or not, and it's holding you back. So it's only your mind, so your lack of confidence. I think it's like the other card in the last uh, pile I was reading. But they're saying really be time, uh, be clear. Uh, on this one, okay, so on this one they want me to say, Look at the colors of each bucket. What color is it that you, it's really attracting you right now? Because they're saying that is the chakra one that you need to work with the most at this point and this time right now to help you to move forward, to help you to unblock the area that's holding you back. Oh, that's a good picture right there. So pick a bucket and then that's the chakra color that you need to work with. That That's the one that's holding you um, limiting beliefs that you need to let go of, you know, whatever it is, if it's lack of confidence or not being worthy enough, you know, things like that. Um, it's just you need more practice. Keep going forward. Don't give up. Keep doing it. Keep pushing. Don't don't stop. 
it's stability and efficiency. So really, you know, be more stable. Start making a routine for yourself. Start making plans. Start, you know, getting things forward. Start taking action. You know, don't wait for things to happen for you. You've got to start doing it. Right now is a really good time in the energy-wise because we're going to airy season. And this is a really good time for the energy of moving. And for fire is like going, you know, going forward. So they're saying that, you know, this is a really good time that... um uh, to start using that fire and get yourself, you know, get yourself moving. You're going to start getting really ambitious. Um, okay. Can you see anything else? Perspective. Yeah. So it's all about your perspective. Turn things around. Maybe you got to look at the situation in a different way. You know, maybe look at it in a different perspective. Put yourself in their shoes type of thing. You know, don't think of it's always one way. You know, things we have to change. We have to go with the times. And a lot of times things are so hard for us to change. And we're so set in our old ways. But they're saying to really turn the situation around. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. So really, you know, start being that crazy self. You want to dye your hair purple? Dye it purple. But you know what? They're saying to really start shining your light. Start stepping out. Start doing your thing. There's a... That's so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being watched over by someone kind. So you definitely have angels watching over you. I feel like it's um, very brotherly. Um, but it's like somebody who really loves you. And it's like a guidance. And they're really watching you. You know, making your plans. And, you know, planting your seeds. And they're there watching you. And they're actually, you know, watering it for you. And they're helping you. And they're giving you guidance. And they're helping you to move forward and get past your beliefs. Okay, what's next, guys? Okay, they want me to go with the ocean zen. All right. What is it that pile two needs to know? What else pile two is not hearing and needs to know? What does they need to know right now? Pile two. What is that pile two needs to know right now? Oops. Sorry. Yeah, you've been holding on to a lot of stress. I thought I heard another card. Okay. Um, you've been holding a lot of stress. So you've been juggling too many things. And they're saying it's really time to just really relax. You know, something's going to pop your bubble. And it's going to, everything is going to come tumbling down. So it's like, really take time to really rest. And, you know, take a deep breath. Meditate. Really go inside yourself. You really do some reflection work, you know, do some detoxing work and really figure out what it is that, what chakra that you need more work on. Is it your self-confidence? That would be the yellow one. That would be, you know, your solar plexus. What does the pile two need to know? All right. Ooh, big time. Yeah, so... You might feel like you're juggling too much, you know, and um, but it's it's okay. It's like once you get a more of a detailed plan down, it's going to go in the rhythm. But you've been going, you're going to go through a rebirth, you know, once if you're already starting to feel more balanced. But if you, there's a color here that you don't feel like you're balanced with, you're going through a rebirth anyway. At any rate, you're going through a rebirth. You're going through a change, especially if you're going through, yeah, tuning in. Uh, we're going through the awakening. So, you know, we're all going through a rebirth kind of like thing. Like we're going through a lot of big healing. But a lot of your chakras are going to start getting um, more balanced. You're going to start breaking free and start really being that courageous one and really shining your your light as a lioness or lion, you know, and just really changing uh, shape of who you really are. You know, you're going through a big change and they're saying that, you know, be easy on yourself, you know, turn in, go within, get out of your head because when your head is so loud, that's when you start getting all those negative thoughts coming in. And it's really hard for you to see the light. They said it's hard for you to see clarity. And so they really want you to turn in, turn within yourself, tune within, meditate, get quiet, quiet the mind of all the fogginess and let all that crap go because all that crap is just crap. So let it all go. Cling into the past. So yeah, the perspective. So you're clinging onto the past too much. You change that perspective, flip it around. Make it into a work of art. You know, it's like be different. Dare to be that, you know, that person. But quit holding on to the past and clinging on to the past and the old thoughts and the memories and the stories. It's it's time to let all that go. It's time to really start moving forward and start creating new memories. Start creating a new future. Start creating what you really want instead of all that old, look, ugly, lower, stressful stuff that we've been holding on to. We don't need to hold on to that anymore. It's really time to start creating our new world, you know, start creating it, start 
changing it. You know, if there's something you don't like about the story, change it. You know, it's up to us. We have that power within ourselves to change it. So when they really want you to start turning in and doing that, you take control. You, Your mind is has more control over than you do. So they're really saying to really get control of the mind, get heart-centered, get in that. You're already going through a lot of deep healing. But they're saying to really get past it is to really get into your heart. You let the mind go. Do not let the mind have control over your life or your situation or the stories of your life because it does not dictate how you need to be into your future. So it's time to let all that go and really time to, you know, take control of your life and move forward, start creating what you really want. And that's just confirmation. All right. Whew. Man, they have so much information. This comes flowing out of me. All right. What's next, guys? Animals. They want you to know about animals. All right. So some animal guides for you to look out for, or maybe you've already been seeing them, especially if you look at pictures on Facebook or, you know, Instagram or whatever it is that you're watching, maybe a nature show. Um, but if you're into animals and if you're paying attention to nature, like I do, I love nature. I love walking in nature. I'm always paying attention to what they're trying to tell me because everything Every single animal or even insect is trying to tell you something. There's always a message. Mother Nature and the universe is always speaking to us. All we got to do is get out of our heads and get out of our minds. Sit quiet. Get that mind blank. Go within your heart and really pay attention. Really listen. Really watch and see what you present to you. Even a snail will mean something, you know. It's like you may not mean may not mean nothing to you, but if you look it up, everything has a meaning. Nature is always speaking to you, trying to tell you to slow down like a snail. You know, maybe that's why they're showing me the snail. <laughs> okay, so what does pile two need to know? What is you trying to show them? What's the power animal they need to know? Ooh. All right. Oh my gosh, my favorite, the masked owl insight wisdom foresight a messenger so you're going to definitely be receiving some messages i'm hearing like in your dream time or you are receiving messages or you're going to be receiving a message uh regarding um something you've been working towards why i'm hearing so it's a couple of things so some people are going to be receiving messages from their guidance from their team from their angels either in dream time or a message or a download and then somebody else is going to be receiving a message like through mail or email or text um, something about something they've been working for it's going to bring a lot of insight a lot of wisdom you already have this already within you these qualities within you so if the owl is presenting being presented to you right now if you're seeing owls a lot or if you love owls one you might be a witch um, owls always represent for me as you know having witchcraft um, but it's also um, uh, wisdom and uh, messaging you know getting a message and things like that uh, there's more information about it too you can always look it up but this is I love this card I love this one when this one pops up it's like a, it's a confirmation for me Another one, condor, cycles, reflection, perspective, release. So again, you got the perspective. So they're really saying that even though the condor may look ugly, change your perspective about him. He actually has some beautiful qualities about him. You know, he goes through cycles and there's a reflection perspective. There's a lot of releasing because they shed the old skin. They, they clean up the, you know, the carcass. So there's a lot of, you know, uh, cycles and releasing change your perspective on how you're looking at your life you know change your perspective on how you look at things you know start paying attention to the moon cycles um i feel it, like you may be very empathic and if you're very sensitive the cycles of the moon are very you know, um yeah that's why they're showing me the moon um you're very sensitive to the cycle so pay attention to the cycles look up the condor for further meaning um, but also do some more reflection, do some journal work, go within, because you're not being very clear on something. I think you're being too hard on yourself is what I'm hearing. And that's not, you're not being fair. So it's like twice you got the perspective and actually this one too. So actually three times in my eyes, I see that you are holding on to the past and it's really time to let it go. It's really time to start creating your future. Last one, sea turtle, beginning self-reliance journey and home. I love this card is my favorite. So a sea turtle is that you have a lot of new beginnings coming in. You're very self-reliant. You're going through a new journey and you feel like you're going to be going home. You're going to feel like you're meeting a lot of soul family, a lot of soul people. Um, I feel like your third eye is going to be opening up. If you see the, the, the 
the turtle here and with the third you know, the eye. I'm seeing like you're going to be start getting messages from the other side, um, from your your light being team, your your Pleiadian star being um, Atlantean. Uh, you're 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 gonna start meeting more people. You're gonna take a journey. I feel like I feel like you're already taking a journey like within yourself. Um, but I feel like um, when you do take that journey, it's like okay, so a couple of messages here. Hold on. So when you're going through a journey within yourself and you're meditating, you feel like you're home. And when you come back here, it's kind of hard to come back into 3D life because you feel so good being there. But it's showing you, you you're going to start creating your new beginnings. You're going to start creating your new life here. You're going to start bringing that home quality here in this in this 5D world that we're shifting into. <laughs> I don't want to say 3D because I feel like we're shifting into the 5D. So it's just all about your perspectives, how you think of it. It's how you look at your world, how you look at your life. So they're really saying to go within, you know, really take that journey. I think you're already doing that, but you're, it's, it's coming into, you know, forward coming in um, into the future is what I'm hearing. Like something within the next, maybe July because seven, um, but maybe seven days, seven weeks, you know, something's going to turn around and it's going to make you feel like you're home. It's going to make you feel so good. It's going to make you feel blessed. So I feel like a lot of good things are coming for you. Okay, let's see. One last message they have. Okay, so... Messages from the angels. What do you have to say to pile to? Messages from the angels. What do you have to say to pile to? Pile to. Ooh, I think it's too many. Okay. What's the message for pile two? That one definitely came out. Message for pile two. Ooh. Okay. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. That's great message. That's great a message coming through. I don't think I have to be any more clear than that, but something new is coming in for you, something you've been wishing for, something you've been working towards, but it's going to bring in some new energy and it's going to make you feel good. It's going to make everything feel good again. I think you've been going through so much for so long and they're saying that, you know, it's good. You have special bond with animals. Your pets on heaven and on earth are watched over by angels. And this one means a lot to me since I have so many of my pets over on the other side. But they're letting you know that, you know, you have a very special um, bond with animals, pets. You're very connected to your pets. Oh, sorry. Um, they're saying that you're very connected to them and that they are being watched over. The ones that have passed over, even the ones that are here, they are being guided over. They are being watched over. They're being very protected. They have a special guardian over for them. And I think it's because you have such a connection with your special pet animals, your fur babies. And I think you have, you're a, a very, if you're a spiritual person, like if you're going into this and you're reading this, I'm sure you're very spiritual. But they're showing me some people like very spiritual. They're going to be really into nature and the animals and things. And they're going to pay attention to those kind of things because I think you already know that the universe speaks to you. All right. Do you have anything else? Whoop. Whoop, wrong one. Okay. Merlina, you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. So they're really saying that you know to go really go within yourself or do you know, meditate or even get a psychic reading. One of you know whatever area you feel guided to, but they're saying that you're very confused about something and that means you're just in your head, you're overthinking it too much. And they're saying that you really need to take time out and go within um, and ask your guides for the answers because you already have the answers within you. Okay. They said that's it. Um, so, if you have any comments or questions, you know, please leave comments down below. If you would like a personal reading, you can always email me at Janine Spiritual Medium at gmail.com. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope you have, have a blessed day. Thank you for coming by. Bye. Hello, pile three. All right. Pile three. Hello, hello. This is your special message, soul love. Wow. 
and 33 how interesting is that 333 three, three. wow pile three and you got 33 soul love you're going through big 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 transformation oh sorry so they really want you to look at this card really feel into the light transmission that's coming through because these cards have light transmission so they really want you to look at the card really go in depth with this because you're getting um, some downloads and there's a special message here you're going through a deep cleanse you've been going through a big purge um, a lot of deep healing and this is about um, more about finding who you are finding out who you are in a deeper level and you, they're saying basically it's soul love go within your soul because it's all about love and it's all about going into the deeper connection of the soul love with God with God's source you're very connected to the higher realms you're very connected to the light beings angels um, I hear that you you know, I think you actually get messages from God yourself and you can you confuse yourself with that one you get confused on that one at times because you I think you have that I don't believe I'm worthy of it, but it's all about soul love because we're all connected to God's source. So you are soul love. So and they want you to believe in that. Okay, so this is what the book says. So before I go further, <laughs> um, I know not everything is going to resonate with everybody. You know, take what you know resonates and just leave what's you know to the rest. But um, on this book, I'm just going to read the beginning of it, and then I'll leave um, I'll leave it open for you. So if you can take a snapshot of the meditation or the journal work that way you can do it at your own time whenever you choose to you can just take a quick you know what snapshot of the video or something and that way you can um, have a copy of it and you can go through it at your own time so this is what it's saying for a soul love it's about unconditional love you are clear pure love nothing from your past will block your dreams your future will be nothing like what has been before you are at the center of your universe looking outward through your experience. When you look out in balance, you are seeing through love and will experience many variations of love. Make love your purpose. Find it wherever you can. If you begin to introduce anything to your world that does not feel like love, shift your awareness, your energy, or your eyes until you return to love. Become so devoted to your purpose of love that no one will sway you, away, sway you from it. Unconditional love is not about tolerating or diminishing yourself to make another feel good. These are conditional actions that will make you feel less than or resentful. If you are trying if you are trying to believe something that is not your truth, it will feel awful because you are not in agreement with your soul. Your job is to feel balanced in every moment. If you can't go easy on yourself as it is just a sign you are yet to love something about yourself. So this is the meditation um, part of it. Take a snapshot of that. If you want to do this at your own time, you can go within and work on it in your own space. And then this is the other part of it. Okay. Now, we go into further. We're going to go into the cards and see what the angels have to say. Um... They really want me to start with the Osho Zen. So we'll start with the Osho Zen. So what does Pile 3 need to know? What is it you're not hearing, you're missing, that you need to know about? What does Pile 3 need to know for today? Pile 3. Whoop. What do they need to know? Whoop. Pile 3. Trust. Take that leap of trust of faith. Um, if you're taking off, you're jumping off. You know, you're getting into a deeper awareness of who you really are, and you're taking off layers of yourself. It's like peeling back the onion or taking back the shadow, and you're really starting to break free of who you really are. They're saying to trust yourself, trust that, take that leap of faith. Um, you really need to start going forward. Um, but yeah, you uh, you're shedding, you're opening up, you more awareness of the deeper layers of who you really are, soul love, you know, going deeper. Um, you're really breaking free of being free from um, from the rest of the crowd. Like you're you're not like the rest of the people. You're breaking free from it. 
like all the sheep, while you're breaking free and becoming the lion and becoming your true self, you're taking off the mask and you're wearing the sheep on you, but you're you're wearing you're taking the mask off of who you really are. You're really just starting to show people who you really are, but you're hiding yourself and you, um, you're hiding yourself within the sheep, but you really need to start breaking free from that. And they're really saying it's been causing a lot of stress on you. Um, because you don't know how to do that. And it's like, it's been a struggle. Like, how do I do back and forth, back and forth. And it's been like jungling and trying to figure out, you know, how do I take that leap of faith? How do I step out of being like everybody else and really start shining my light when all I've known is to keep myself protected. And you've been juggling in this back and forth and on and on, but they're saying it's time to let it go. It's been too much stress on you and your mind and you're been so much stress on your head. And they're really saying, take time. Um, you have so much abundance coming in and so much more new opportunities and growth. And, you know, just be easy on yourself. Take it easy. You're tuning it too hard. Try taking it, uh, an easier approach instead of um, whatever it is that you're trying to do. They're saying you're doing it. You're doing too much stress on yourself on it. You know, take an easier approach. Try it a different way. Just be easy on yourself. But I feel like by the next new moon or by the next full moon, you're going to see new abundance. More abundance is coming forward. Um, more balance, more growth, um, a lot of good things, a lot of abundance. You're going to feel like a lot of new blessings are coming in. Should I go further? Yes. Ooh, traveling is coming into the near future, but it's going to bring up, I feel like it's going to bring up um, some issues with the I mean, watch your projections. Okay, so traveling. So yeah, you need to take a leap of faith and trust on taking you know on this trip. They were traveling. You need to take a, a journey, um, and they're saying to really take that trust and have trust within yourself. I feel like somebody's going to be taking a trip or a journey. Some of you may be going a different way, um, but I feel like you're going to be going on a um, a trip or something like something very spiritual, and. Um, uh, they're saying to trust trust yourself, trust this is the right thing to do. You're being guided to this for a reason. So you got morality and they're saying to really you know, watch your morals, you know, don't you know step out of yourself or your alignment just because you're breaking free. Don't make yourself feel like you're better than anybody else. You know, really keep yourself in check. Don't project yourself and project other people's thoughts or feelings onto yourself or around you because you're still going into the conditioning you're breaking free from all the conditioning so watch how your thoughts or what you think you're seeing watch your projections of what you're putting out because you can create chaos with those energies and that chaos slow down yeah you got the stress so we're saying really slow down take a time take a breather relax you got abundance coming in be free like he is you know just take a time and they're saying that you know it's it, you have um it's like just taking time and really enjoying the journey. Look at all the beautiful colors. Look at the grass. Look how beautiful he is. He's just taking the time and just like, okay, I'm going to breathe through it, you know. You're going through a big rebirth right now. It's a big, you know, it's been a big weight on you and a big burden on you. And they're like saying, just let it all go. Just slow down. Take a break. Give yourself a break. Get a break from your head, from your mind. Because when you don't, you're making the postponement. So you're looking at something you're wishing that you can have, but you're not really seeing it because everything is so black and white. You really got to break free from your limiting thoughts and your beliefs and really look at it in a different direction. Things are going to start getting so much better for you. You just got to slow down, take a breather. It's going to be so much better than more than you expected. You just got to do a different approach. Look at something in a different way that you didn't see before. Um, maybe a different approach or you're letting go of old things and you are breaking free from a lot of old stuff and a lot of old structures. This is what you've been going through. So you, and a lot of abundance is going to start coming in. So really trust yourself. Trust the, the steps that you're being guided to because I feel like somebody's being guided to to take a trip, go on a trip, maybe, you know, go away for the weekend, you know, but to make sure it's for the right reasons and don't project, you know, what you think is going to happen, you know, or what you think is a conversation that you might be having that, you know, don't project that your self is going to be out there. Okay, so let me see what else. Pile three, what do you need to know? What else does pile three need to know from the angels? Pile three. Pile three. What do you need to know? Whoops. Okay, let me go through that in a minute. Pile three. What else do they need to know? Ooh. 
right, thank you. All right, so a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. So there's a situation that's definitely going to be coming to an end. And they're saying you're going to finally be free. You know, you have new opportunities and happiness are going to now start following forward for you. And they're saying, you know, really put the past behind you. And it's kind of funny. It's coming up behind underneath the traveling and the trust. So there's like really there's a situation that you really need to trust and, you know, take a bow to the situation because it's done. It's over. You don't have to worry about it no more. It's just time for new beginnings and new things and new, be, you know, um, new opportunities to come in for you to finally be happy and to finally live the life that you really want. And then you got nine of Gabriel. Stay determined to move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. So maybe you're into environmental activism. Maybe you want to do some more like, you know, farm growing. Maybe you're going to get a house and you're going to be able to do your own farm land. Um, but they're saying that, you know, all the work you've been doing, keep doing it. Stay determined. Don't give up. You know, be prepared for any possibility that's going to be coming forward because something's going to be coming forward very soon. And they're saying to be open for it. Be open for the awareness of the possibility of something going to happen. And then you got wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. So there's a situation that's coming up that's going to, you need to really be, and it's kind of funny, it's under conditioning and projections. So don't project what you think other people are thinking or a situation that's coming up that you're going to be looking at. And they're saying to stay in your integrity and it's really time to be honest and open with your communication. Um, the situation is going to be coming forward, you know, maybe about the conditioning. You know, you really need to be honest within yourself, you know. What is it you need to break free from? What is it that you've been, you know, making yourself uh, being like the other people? You know, break free. Why do you need to be like everybody else? You know, you're meant to be you. What is it that you need to um, look at yourself with objectivity and wisdom and really look at within yourself with integrity of why you're being like everybody else? And then you got, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. So again, I feel like somebody's going to be leaving a situation. Somebody's time to end a situation. But I feel like somebody's going to be moving forward. And you got traveling as well. So I feel like the situation is about, um, it could look like a relationship ending. But it could also just be somebody moving forward. Somebody leaving the old life behind. You know, it doesn't necessarily be, you know, negative at all. You know, it's just it's time for some new plans and time for, you know, travel time. It's time to maybe start relocating. Um, but it's time, you know, you're going to start seeing the light at the tunnel, at the end of the tunnel. And you just need to have some faith and trust and just to be open for the new opportunities that are going to be coming in. Because there is something coming forward and it's going to make you feel good. It's going to make you feel like, oh my gosh, it's so, I'm glad it's over. You know, it's like it's done. Then you can make new plans. You can actually move forward. You, you know what direction you need to go. You know, maybe there was something you weren't clear about and you were, you know, in your own beliefs about something. You weren't clear in what direction you needed to go. But once you stepped out of that box and get out of your head and really have a clear situation, and really go within yourself and be honest with yourself, you'll have a clearer direction. You'll see the light at the end of the tunnel. And then you got, there's so much to accomplish to make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. So again, so many cards about action and being very detailed about your plan. So it's really time to start taking plans, take your journal, start making notes, start preparing what you want to do for your future, what your life, what do you want to create? Because you're being guided and you are, um, you're being guided and they need, oh, oh my God, I, I kind of zoned out what they were saying. They're saying to really trust the information you're receiving because you're being guided. You're having information. You are receiving information. And they're saying to trust that. You need to trust the information you are receiving. So uh, you're being guided uh, by somebody and you're uh, it's like an angel, a guide, and they're watching you and they're actually helping you. Okay. Whew, so much information. They get so close to my heart. I feel like I'm talking like a mile a minute. All right. See, animal spirits. They wanted me to uh, come forward because the animals want to share their special messages too. Because it's all about nature. And um, I love nature. And I love how the animals speak to us in the universe. And you know, it's always speaking through us to, with the, through animals. So um, let's see what they have to share for you. What is the message for pile three? What is the message for pile three? To help them in guidance. What is for pile three? What do you have for pile three? 
Pile three. Okay. Ooh, orange blossom jellyfish. Transparency, sensitivity, surrender, illumination. Um, I'd also look up the numbers. So I'm seeing this one first off, the colors orange is coming to me. So I'm feeling like somebody is very creative, but you need to work on the sacral chakra. Um, but it's also saying um, your, your sensitivity is very transparent. First off is what I'm hearing. Um, you need to surrender everything you've been holding on to. Really hold on. Really to let go. Get your feet in nature. Get your feet in the ocean. Release everything that's been, you know, all the old stuff. Like it's really time to... Uh, it's going to be very illuminating. This is the word. Okay, so that's where the illumination comes in. So I, it's like they, what they am being shown is that they really want you to get out to the ocean or maybe put your feet in salt water and really release all this old negative stuff that you've been holding on to, all these old beliefs, thought patterns, whatever it is that you're holding on to, whatever the story is that you've created or you, you've you added labels to as well. You know, it's time to really be illuminating those ideas and really start cleansing yourself from it. And this, the salt will help you, will help clarify and purify you. So um, really work, watch, uh, work on that one. Okay. Uh, orangutan. Oh, my God, he's so cute. Laughter, curiosity, patience, and play. So they're really saying take time and play. You know, be laughter, laugh, curiosity, be, be curious again. You know, be that child, be that funny little monkey. And, you know, have fun and, you know, create that play. You know, be curious again. Quit be holding on to all those old things that you think something's going to hurt you. It's nothing's going to hurt you except for you yourself that's going to let you hold yourself from holding back from having fun in life. So play, have fun, laugh again. Look at him and laugh. Isn't he a cute little thing? Oh, my God, he's so cute. I love that little face. Look at that belly. Oh, my God, give him zuberts. Okay, so have fun. Enjoy. Laugh. Okay, the other one. White pelican, ease, optimism, grace, and cooperation. So I feel like there's a situation that's going to be coming in through that you're going through, and it's going to go through with a lot of great. You're going to go through this with ease and grace. Um, you're you're going to feel like a lot of cooperation is on your side. You got a lot of faith and optimism to keep going forward, and they're saying that you got the angels to help you. The wings and the pelican help me to remind me that you have so many angels around you, and they're all guiding you. And you remember that you you're not from here. You're from the other side. They just said this, okay, so I don't know why I've never said this before. So they're saying that you, you really need to remember that you're not from here. You're from the other side. I'm hearing like Palladian, Star Star Family, um, Atlantean, something like this. I'm not, they're not really being clear, but because there's like so many different people could be watching this. So it's just, you don't, you're not just who you think you are, that you are more than what you really are. And they really want you to know that you're being guided and you're being so much teams on your side and you have so much support you don't even realize so they just really want you to hold on to that fact that faith and oh and the 22 how interesting 22 and the angels so that tells me i got goosebumps okay wow <laughs> so look at the the number look up the white pelican if you want to but is this a really deep message that they really want me to share more for you on that one and yeah that was my first time oh and the master owl came out again oh my gosh so you have so much power and, and wisdom within you. You are, you know, you're very psychic. And um, I, I didn't, I forgot all that on the last one. Because whenever I see an owl, I think of witchcraft. You know, whenever I see this, I know that I'm a witch. So but it's like there's more than that too. It's like you're very psychic. You have a lot of wisdom within you. And um, you have a lot of foresight. You get messages from the other side. And you are going to be receiving, I'm like, I'm hearing you're going to be receiving a message soon. Um, I'm thinking like text or email or something like that. There's something you've been waiting to hear on. And it's going to bring a lot of insight into what you need to do next into your future. So they're saying to hold on and have faith. There's a lot of good things are going to be start coming in for you. Uh, okay, let's see. Last but not least, what is their special, special, special message from the angels? Special message from the angels. What's their personal message or pile of three? What do they need to know? Pile three. Special. Special message. I can't not say special. Okay. What's their message? Okay. One. Aurora. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because those others will soon become inspired by your example. So you're going to start shining your light. You're going to start flying. You're going to start seeing 
um, your light is going to start threatening other people. They're going to start seeing that light and they're not going to know how to react to it. And a lot of them might react to you very negatively and they're saying just to be aware of that, but to let it inspire you, you know, let it inspire you to keep moving forward. But they're also, they're going to start seeing the light and they're going to start seeing this and they're going to start taking it on. And that's going to be such an example for them to change for themselves. So, so keep shining your light, keep moving forward, just fly high and keep flying baby because you're on your way. I don't know why they said that, but that was what they said. <laughs> Fiona, now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. So you've been asking for them to help. So they're asking you to step back now. You've asked them, and now the messengers are going to start. You're going to start, you know, receiving the assistance. You are already receiving it, but they're saying to have faith. You know, just be open for it. Um, at any point in time, it can come in. But just be open for whenever um you whenever you see this reading bridget caution is warranted look deeper into the situation before per, per, before proceeding further so there may be a situation they're saying does it take a, you know look out real quick don't you know if something comes into you like i feel like um, a job situation or something might be offered don't jump at it right away like you're going to feel like a, a warning sign they're saying look deeper ask yourself why meditate on it don't make a rash decision just take a minute and breathe on that one Okay, and last one but not least, Celeste, a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will be will usher in positive new energy. So again, you got the the moving card and travel, and I think this was yeah, you got the travel again. So somebody out there is moving, or maybe you know like a family's moving. Um, but these, there's a lot of movement going on and a lot of change, maybe change of employment is also is going to be also or uh, possible for you at this point in time. So be open to anything. And there's a lot of energy going on with Aries energy. So it's like be open for any possibility of taking action and moving forward. So I hope you really enjoyed this reading. And if you did, please put a thumbs up. And, um, if you would like a personal reading, you can always email me at Janine spiritual medium at gmail.com. Thank you so much for stopping by. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.